and go. This is part two because Chad ran out of film. If you are still watching this, what the hell is your problem? I know there's better shit on YouTube to be watching. There's some porn with your name on it that you should be watching instead of me bitch about random crap. But oh well. So back to the battlefield. Uh, Soy allowed me to do the commentary for, well, he allowed me to introduce the rules and stuff, and then, um, my cool friend Chris, who cosplays, uh, Yodame, he was, like, doing the rules for it, and then I decided that we need a little bit extra commentary, because some of the people in the, in the battlefield, they were a little confused to it, they were new, so, like, we're gonna spice this up and make it a little bit more funnier for the crowd, so I did some commentary, but then Chris disappeared, because his shoe broke, his saddle broke, and then he disappeared, man, Chris, why'd you let me down? But that's okay. So I took over his job as rule referee for the battlefield. I thought that was awesome. I thought that was a ton of fun. Some crazy, stupid shit happened. Um, I highly suggest that you go to Soy Sauce's YouTube. I don't know how the link is. Raphael will... Soy Sauce Production, I think. Oh, yeah, he changed it. It used to be like a bunch of random numbers, but I, yeah, I think it's production sound. Whatever. Go to Soy Sauce's uh, YouTube. Check out the battlefield. He did have the camera right next to the music, so you might not be able to hear the dialogue as well, but I don't know. We'll see how the quality turned out. There was some funny, crazy shit that happened. Towards the end, we did do... Um, I was in one of the battles. It was me, uh, Mr. Soy himself, and uh, Paul versus... Um, this Dr. Ninja person, a Deadpool, and Kale. Yeah, that's right. Soy vs. Kale. It was pretty epic. About it was a fun fucking time. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but I think the finale to that fight was just like pure epic anime badassness. I had some cool moves. I did some cool things. I used my star, my mushroom, and even a special KJR type of tag to Deadpool. You'll know what I'm talking about. So that was cool. But, um, so moving on from the battlefield, despite how much fun and amazing that was one more shout out to Soy. You did a great job. And besides Soy, uh, I'll put a link uh, to his YouTube. Ashley, Amy, uh, I, I think Amy did. A, a, yeah, she got people. Chris, uh, Paul, basically everybody that helped Soy with it. Like, thank you. You guys were fucking cool. Like so I'm, I'm glad we made that event work well. Afterwards, I went to go catch the Spoonie Bards. I caught like the last song they put on. So. That kind of sucked, but oh well. I danced, so I know the Spoonie Bards are probably have way cooler stuff to do, like practice music and watch this dumb video, but you guys are awesome. I danced to your music, not just sit in a chair and fall asleep. I was fucking dancing. I think they played like the, I think I caught like the Final Fantasy VII boss song or whatever. Good music. And we chilled for a little bit. I was going to go to the uh, There Will Be Brawl panel, because I love There Will Be Brawl, but I wanted to get some pizza, and I got really lazy, so I don't know. Sorry I didn't go to that. The masquerade was good. We started, they started early, like five o'clock, which seemed kind of weird for it to be that early. And then um, it was funny because like the schedule said that it was going into like nine, like 8.30 or nine o'clock. I think it said like 8.30 or something like that. And it ended at like 6.45. So it ended way ahead of schedule according to the thing. But um, I missed the first skip, but the rest of it, it was weird. They did the skits first and then the walk-ons was really strange for a con. I've never seen that before. But, um, Vash, David, and, uh, Asian Ken, whatever, Ken. their skit was hilarious. I'm sure the enthusiast got some film of that. Go watch that, too. Like, exit this crappy video and go watch their skit, because that was a funny skit. Especially if you know anything about Mr. Stripper Vash and that whole deal there. That was really funny. I had quite a couple of friends that were in walk-ons. They did a really good job. I'm really proud of all of them. Um, I, I screw giving names, shout outs out. You, you know who you are. I cheered for you loud during the thing. Ashley Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And more people, but yes. So that was cool. What did I do after that? Of course, I can't talk too much about it because it was 18 plus, but the My Bittersweet uh, Iku was a fucking amazing panel. The most educational goddamn hentai panel I've ever been to. If, like, that girl is ever at some con or, I, I don't know. Go to her panel. She was really good. I mean, that room was packed. It was a really packed room. We were all laughing up, cracking up. That was a good time. And then we went to the dance again. Dance was amazing. Night two. Had more people. Bigger space. And that was pretty much it. Sunday we just hung out, chilled, bought more stuff. I got a dice for my phone. That apples cool. apples. And, oh my god. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. I let the uh, tabletop room borrow apples to apples. The entire con would have been totally doomed without it. Every time we walked by, there was like a horde of like 8, 12 people trying to get people to play that game. Everybody loves the apples to apples. It is a great game, and I'm happy I let them borrow it. I'm happy that I could bring fun to people. That's really about 
Yeah, then we just hung out on Sunday and chilled, bought some more stuff. I gave away a bunch of free uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards to people because I had, I had a whole bunch of them. What did I give you, Kevin? Huh? I gave you something. What did you give me? <laughs> button. Oh yes, I got a button. It's in my pocket. I'll probably lose it later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like it a whole lot. Oh, I bought a calendar from Joseph. Uh, generic Dreams, Generic Dreamer, something like that. I think it's Generic Dreamer. That's buy his, his DA. Buy his calendar, people. Yes. Buy his he calendar. is a good artist. He draws some edgy stuff. His art is pretty. It's beautiful. You guys should go buy his calendar. I heard he didn't sell that much in Yoma. Shame on you people for not buying his stuff. You should buy his calendar. That way, every day when you go to look at the date, you see a really hot chick right there. That makes your day. I know that I like to see a hot chick every morning when I wake up. So go buy his calendar. He's a very good uh, artist. He was at the Hentai Pound too, trying to get some tips on how to make his art be even better. He's a very, he has lots of talent. So please support, support him. He's really cool. i make sure I call the right thing. So overall, I don't know how you're not falling asleep yet yeah, watching this video. Collision Con kicked ass. I think it was cool. It's good for a late year con because there's a lot of cons during like early fall or the summer. We all know Ace and all that bullshit and the Yuma Con. So it was good. I highly suggest going. It was really oh, close. I how many will next year? How many what bams you give that, Kevin? How many what bams? I don't know how many numbers. Uh, out of five, I'll say out of five. I'll give it a uh, four of bams and then a half a. Wubba, wubba, a wham. A wham. A wham. A wham. A wham. A wham. It gets, it gets four wabams and a wham out of five. <laughs> That's pretty good. I said they had no, they did have a viewing room like Raphael told me. I find out, I found out during the feedback panel. They didn't really label it that clearly. They had nothing in the dealer's room, but I didn't care because I don't go to concert dealer's room. And I don't know it really. I mean, I think it was a really good fucking con. I don't know why. I heard that people were saying they didn't have a fun time or whatever. I don't fucking know why. There was so much shit to do. There was I had a fun time. I made new friends. I hung out with people. I fucking danced. I went to all kinds. I watched celebrity. I watched VAs do stupid fucking skits and stuff. I watched talented cosplayers walk across stage. I played some fucking Yu-Gi-Oh with new friends and stuff. It was a good fucking time. I don't know how you can complain. Sure, they didn't have shit to buy. Go on eBay, you motherfuckers. Go to your local Too Cool and buy some anime merchandise, man. I don't need to go to the fucking deal room for that shit so that's really about it you can probably end this video now i gotta oh, get us home cool. lord zed oh man lord zed <laughs> hello lord zed i felt bad uh, i'm not gonna say put the video on yourself Turn to i don't want i felt bad for lord zed nobody want to go see him it's like he just including the chad including the chad doing stuff <laughs> oh too good for Lord Zed, I see. He's gonna rain the fucking fires of hell and Zedness down upon you. I think, I don't know, I don't watch Bar Renters. I'm too straight for that. I wanted to get an autograph <laughs> today, but he had no boot today, so. He probably went home because he's like, this con sucks. <laughs> Nobody likes me. I'm a legend, bitch. <laughs> Close. Yes. That was pretty much it, I guess. Point the camera to yourself when you talk about yourself. You're like pointing towards the highway. Well, this is the raw destiny, people. To the stars. To the stars! And, and then, then to the moon. To the moon! To the moon! To the moon. And to the sun. And we're dead. No, not to the sun, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way! <laughs> Alright. Just check. Signing out, people. Signing out. Any Come party work? with us. Um, if you're not a creepy person, uh, I don't know if I should. Should I invite people to John's thing? No. No? Okay. Well then, don't come to our meetup that's going to happen in two weeks because I'm not supposed to invite people, I guess. <laughs> but if you got a Facebook invite about it, you should come join us so that we can all be cosplayers together and hang out and have fun. And play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Don't bring magic. That's banned. Just Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> bring uh, magic anyway. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Please get mad. Give magic five waboos. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you idiot. I'm wasting your film. Alright, then. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just try it right now. Yeah, I was say, don't waste it on me. Yeah, I'm, gonna... <laughs> I'm sleepy. Alright, then. <laughs> Collision Con, see you next year. See you next year.